this is actually very critical and very crucial. How do I know? How do I know if the apartment is for me? And so I felt like the sign was, if you feel creative and inspired to write in that apartment, then it's for you. Oh, hi vlog. Me and Buttercup. <laughs> are having a day because it's Purim. Purim will probably be the next vlog. If you guys haven't seen uh, what Purim is, I will link over here. Anyways, I wanted to hop up here and give you guys some life updates. I am not sure that I have said any of this in any other vlog and so I just wanted to share with you guys what is going on. If you would have told me that I would ever want to live in the neighborhood of Nachlot, I would tell you absolutely no way. Nachlot was one of those things that I've always like looked at that neighborhood and as beautiful as it is, I'm like, I would never want to live here. I would never ever want to live here. But lo and behold, things have changed. It's something that happened gradually, but now I'm really realizing that the reason is so much bigger than me. So if you guys don't know, I'm a writer. I haven't been doing it my whole life. I've never studied it anywhere, but for the last year I have been a writer content creator and one of the things that I want to do is that I want to write a book. I have an idea for a book in my head that I'm not going to say what it is but a huge part of it has to do with Nachlot. Now I've never thought that in order to write something I have to be there or live there but the more I walked that neighborhood and the more I filmed there and the more that sort of came up into my head, the more it stirred my heart. And I just had this really, really strong feeling that started getting stronger and stronger and stronger that I need to move to Nachlot. So I don't live in Nachlot, but I live around it, sort of surrounding it. But there's nothing like actually living inside Nachlot. It's very different. It's like still city center and yet it's its own little bubble. If you guys haven't seen me touring Nachlot, I'll put that also linked up here. But what I'm trying to say is that it wasn't something that was on my radar at all. And now I'm feeling that in order for me to actually write about that environment and sort of get my head into that sphere, I need to actually be there, touch it, have it very, very tangible. I haven't even been in this apartment for nine months. Uh, in three in three more months it'll be a year and I have a contract for a year but I asked my landlord hey if I find something in a chlot can I end my contract early as long as I find someone nice cool responsible to live in this place and he said yes here's the thing about Nachlot Nachlot is a very small part of Jerusalem it's not actually that big and it's very 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 hard to find apartments there now it is more expensive probably because Nachlot is considered a bit, I don't know if to say prestigious, but it's sort of like a rare place to live. It's very cool. Thing is, I'm like, okay, if I find a place, I don't want to have to be stuck in this contract so that I can't go and see other apartments and just snatch it when it comes because right now is not the season for moving at all. There's a lot of students and young people that live in Nachlot. We're in February. It's not the end of studies. People aren't they're staying where they are. And so here's my plan. What I want to do is I want to move to Nachlot for at least a year and I want to do two things. Now, I don't know if one of these things is going to happen, both of them, not at all. I don't know. I'm just going with my gut feeling right now. The first thing is I feel like I want to write about how it feels like to live for a year in Nachlot, but not just like, oh, this is where I live, my environment, but like really immerse myself in the culture of Nachlot with the people, see their houses and their stories and just be a part of an Israeli community, actually experience it and write about the beauty of it for a whole year and see what comes out of it. And then the second thing is there is a book that I have in my head that's it's going to be my life's project. It's a very, very big project. I won't say a lot about it because it's a secret and it's a mystery, but I feel like I need to live in Nachlot in order to properly convey what it is that I'm going to write about. So I've actually gone to see my first apartment in a really cool place and I was sort of thinking with God like, okay God, this is actually very critical and very crucial. How do I know? How do I know if the apartment is for me? And so I felt like the sign was if you feel creative and inspired to write in that apartment, 
then it's for you. And so I went to see an apartment and this apartment was actually a bit similar to mine. It was renovated. The difference was that it had a milpeset, it had a balcony. The layout was like maybe slightly different. And honestly, my apartment is better. That street of Nakhlot is called Rehova Madregot. It's very famous, also cue montage of Nakhlot tour footage. Generally speaking, it could have been really nice to live there, but it was really expensive and not worth it for me. Now, here's the thing. When I say expensive, it was 4,500 shekels, which is however many in dollars. I love the fact that it had a milpeset. It didn't have a lot of a view. It was nice. Like the whole floor was divided to, I think, four apartments. They were all studio apartments and all with like students. And so the front door had a lock and then you had a hallway and then you had little apartments. And and I got there and I just didn't feel that inspiration. I didn't feel the God wink or like the green light or the okay. And I didn't feel like I wanted to be there. So I felt like that was my sign to be like, you know what? This apartment isn't for me. Now my budget for right now is 4,500, including everything, meaning Arnona, which is property tax. If there's Vad Bait, which is like maintenance for the building, electricity, water, and maybe let's just say Wi-Fi. But that is my budget. Now, this is a jump from what I have right now, but I feel like with my career right now, I can afford it, but this is like the minimum. I can't really go over that unless God is like, this is for you, take it, I'll provide. So I am really excited. I feel really just like very laser focused on finding an apartment in Nakhlaot. So that is what I wanted to tell you guys that I am moving to Nakhlaot. So look forward to apartment hunting, Look forward to moving vlogs. If you guys like moving vlogs, look forward to it all. Life is going to look very different. Moving to Nakhlot, I'm going to really try and just immerse myself in the community, meet up with people, go to community events, and hopefully I can find something that is big enough that I can open a dining room table or have a really big balcony or honestly what I really want. And I don't know if this is just a me thing or like a God thought, I really want to live on a rooftop. So what I'm saying is not like the most upper floor of a building, but like if you have a roof that's flat and you have like a little tiny apartment on top of it and then you have the whole roof. Oh, oh my gosh. And if I had a view. Oh. Also, one thing that I'm seriously considering is that I really want Buttercup to have a place where he can roam around but feel safe. I can't let him out in this environment yet because the street is a bit too close and it's too much and it's too scary. But if I could have a place like a huge rooftop or a really big balcony that he could go outside and feel like a normal cat, I would love that. I'm really truly considering also what works for Cover Boy and that's it. That is my update. So look forward to exciting new things. I can't even tell you guys how I just feel like this is critical. Some people, family members have been like, you know, why don't you just move a bit out of city center and get something bigger for cheaper? And I'm like, it's not about the money or saving money. It's about the location. Cause I really, really feel God guiding me to move there. And I'm going to end this vlog here. I wanted to say thank you guys for being a part of this journey and a part of my life. And I appreciate you comment down below, interact with me. If you're new here, then welcome. Feel free to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And if you're not new here, then welcome back. And I will see you guys in a vlog very soon. Thank you.